Hi there everyone, this is Vanity Perfection here, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial. Um, I am going to be showing you guys how to CG hair, at least the way I do it. <laughs> um, well, as you can probably already tell, I am using Photoshop 7, and that is because I've noticed that a lot of you don't have the higher versions. So I've asked my friend to lend me her copy <laughs> so I can install it on my computer and um, show you guys using the tools that uh, Adobe Photoshop 7 offers. Um, all right, then I'm going to be showing you on a picture on a picture that I've actually already finished, but for the sake of the video, I'll be doing it over, at least the hair part. Okay, let's see. All right. This is good. Okay, so um, if you haven't seen my other video already, then you know what? It really doesn't matter. I'll just show you over how to um, start up your layers. Okay, first things first, you want to go. This is actually a new way. First things first, you actually want to go to select and down to color range. Then make sure your fuzziness is somewhere around 150. 150 to 160 and then you want to click anywhere in the picture I like to click on it several times or drag my uh, tablet over it just because I don't know that's the way I taught myself but I don't think you really need to click that much and then press OK and then as you can see hopefully you have all of your picture um, selected and then what you want to do next is go to select and select um, click on inverse. <clears throat> and then what you want to do is go to uh, edit, copy, and then create a new layer by clicking this uh, paper looking icon. Icon. Man, my accent is slipping today. And then um, go to edit and paste. After that, what you want to do is um, you want to delete your original background layer. So click on that and then um, hit this uh, trash can icon and press yes. And there you go. Um, you have your line art on a separate layer. Okay, next what you want to do is double click on the layer one. Oh, and you want to rename it, rename it to outline or line art, anything you know that could really um, give you a hint. Alright, and then what you want to do is change this, the blending mode, the blending mode to uh, multiply. Alright? Okay, next what you want to do is create a new layer, and usually, under all circumstances, I hope, <laughs> you'll get the layer on top of the outline layer. So what you want to do that is you want to move it or drag it under the outline. Okay? And this will be your background layer. Normally, I suggest, um, for now at least, putting or filling it with the color you won't use in your picture. And that, for me, in most cases, is gray. So, but first, we've got to rename it. We want to rename it to BG or background. So, like I said, you got to fill it to a color, or it's recommended to, fill it to a color that you won't use in your picture. And that for me is great for now at least. Later you can change it, but this this step is pretty much so you won't mix your your um the colors that you are using with your background, which if you normally leave it white, you can um kind of make mistakes or leave some parts with colors that they're not supposed to be there. Okay. Now that we got that settled, um what you want to do is create a new um new layer on top of the background layer and that will automatically go on top of the background layer and since this is a hair tutorial we'll call this hair <laughs> okay so hair okay next step what you want to do is oh and one more thing I forgot to do this um, click back to your outline layer and hit this button right here this icon which is to preserve transversity which is very useful because 
later, um, if you want to go and color your lines, which is what I do normally after I've done everything, you can see the colors of lines. So it's a very useful tool. So undo that. Okay. Now you want to click back to your hair layer. And um, we'll start coloring the hair, the main color that that is going to be in the hair. And for this, I'm going to use um, I'm going to use kind of like a lilac color. In my original picture, it's actually kind of orange, but I'm going to use this time a lilacish color. If that is even lilac, I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, this is good to me. Or maybe a little lighter. Okay. Okay, and then I'm just going to start coloring the hair area. Like so. And, you know, you don't really have to worry about being perfect because we're going to go back and erase that anyways. Okay guys, now that you have filled in the hair to how it's supposed to be, you want to erase the excess. Okay. Okay, it seems my brush is a little too big so I'm going to lower that and change my opacity. Make sure your, your opacity is to 100 or else it won't erase it completely. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is good. And start erasing. Have fun. <laughs> Ouch, crap. <laughs> All right, three cramps and a coke later, you are finished. Okay, so basically, what you want to do next is, um, you did I leave a spot undone? All right. <coughs> Next, what you want to do is um, click on that Preserve Transparency uh, icon again. Now, after you finish the coloring, uh, you should do this for every single layer that you do. Because now, um, when you go to add the shadows to the picture, let's see, let's choose this color, you know, it won't leave the spot that you color, see? So, it's a very, very helpful tool. Okay, so let's sit back one on that. Okay, so now what you want to do is add the shades. And um, before we do that, we want to set some brush, some brush um, settings. Okay, so first you want to choose your brush. And normally for this, I would choose a soft brush. Or actually, I would choose a brush that is not soft but not hard. But since this is um, a lower version of Photoshop, I can't do that. So I'll just choose a soft brush for this to give it a soft look. Okay, it could be that size, maybe smaller, but you know, it doesn't matter. We can change that later. Okay, so what you want to do is hit your brushes tab up here and then click on or check other dynamics. Make sure that shape dyna dynamics, other dynamics and smoothing is um, is chosen. Also airbrush. Okay. All right. So you want to click on other dynamics. Here we go. Okay. And right here in the drop down menu, you want to choose fade as well as the bottom one. Choose fade. And you want to change the control right here instead of 25 or whatever number is listed to 75. Okay? That's all you have to do. Now you want to click back to the picture. And you want to start shading. But first of all, choose the color <laughs> and your light, your, light, your light source, of course. Um, let's see. I want to choose a darker color, but not too bright. For this step, I usually go over it with a very, very dark color, but, I mean, if you want to go lighter, it's okay. Your preference. It also depends on um, what kind of light is hitting him. So, 
right here, I'm not going to really choose any uh, 